Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. Now last night I went to bed and I just kept, I was so tired, but I kept waking up every couple of hours because my back was really painful and I'd move and then I'd go back to sleep and then a couple of hours later wake me up. So I'm just relaxing upstairs in my old scraggy old fleece comfy top um, and I thought let's do a bit of a pamper so I've already cleansed my face and I've just put on my Paula's Choice toner now you'll know from previous videos recently that I'm a real fan of Paula's Choice a real fan I'm using it all I can't get enough of it but let's face it Paula's Choice does have a setback in that it's quite expensive and I have spent an absolute fortune in the last couple of months. And looking at it realistically, can I afford to upkeep the amount of stuff on a regular basis? We shall see. But I thought today, why not just try a bit of budget skincare? And you know I told you in my live about these masks, the caviar masks by Aldi and their caviar range. Now let me tell you about this range because I got this set as well at Christmas. I've used these before, but this came in a set. It was the night cream, the day cream, and the eye cream. And this set came out of Christmas. Now this is quite expensive for Aldi. This cost me 14 pound, right? And that's expensive for Aldi. These masks cost me uh, 4.99, no, $3.99 for three masks, okay? But this cream is really, really good. Now, I've told you what it's a dupe of, and I'm going to show you. Now, when I was retired, medically retired, I got a lump sum payment, and I went and did a bit of a kind of, this is the last chance I've got to kind of really go mad. And I went into Selfridges, I think it was, and went to the La Prairie counter, because I'd had my eye on their foundation for a long time. And I bought their foundation and I bought an eye serum, which I used up a long time ago. And they did a whole skincare analysis on me. Now, this caviar skincare that they do, La Prairie, is absolutely nuts, the price. Absolutely nuts. And I remember the lady telling me, she recommended the white caviar cream, which corrects pigmentation. And it's only 535 pound for 50 mils. I mean, I was like, oh yeah, thank you. I'll bear that in mind, right? But I came away because I bought the foundation and I bought an eye serum and the face powder, which was still a breathtaking amount of money. I came away with a bag of goodies, little, things i've been cherishing these and really they're probably out of date now but most of them i've used up but i just wanted to show you that aldi are definitely definitely trying to dupe the real deal look at the packaging all right this is the caviar essence in lotion in fact let's put a bit of the the real deal let me smell it and check that it still smells okay yes it does so this is their very, now to buy this essence in lotion is something ridiculous, like 200 pounds, 250 pounds. It's totally, I mean, I don't know who has got that kind of money. To get your whole skincare regime with La Prairie, you'd probably have to pay something like two grand. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so that is this very, smells nice. It's quite perfumed, a bit sticky, but it's probably because it's a bit old. So I got all these things, you can see that, and got the bag and a couple of other things that I still haven't used. Eye lift cream and sleep mask. I think I've used that. I've kept some of the, yeah, I have used it. I just kept some of the jars so that you can see them. But you can see that it's definitely, what Aldi are doing is definitely duping this caviar range, which is 
extraordinarily expensive all right so i thought what i would do is a little bit of a skincare routine using the aldi caviar um now you can get i mean obviously this doesn't they don't sell this anymore but you can get in the everyday range you can get the night cream and the day cream the day cream costs 6.99 the night cream costs 6 99 So, as I said, for Aldi, that's expensive. That's going to cost you £14. But compared to what it's duping, which would basically cost you about £1,000, it's very good value. I'm going to put on this face mask, first of all. And it does actually have caviar extract on it. And it says leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. And we shall, um, I'll come back to you in a minute. And what I intend to do is do that, put on the face cream and the eye cream. And then I'm going to finish off by using the real deal, as you know, caviar foundation. And I'm going to take a before photo now so that you can see what I look like at the end. Right, just to scare you. That is the mask. Now, I've just got to say something. I've just put this on. And I'm really glad that I put a bit of that essence on my face before we started. Because I had to tell you that this face mask smells remarkably similar to the essence that costs 250 odd pound by La Prairie. Remarkably similar. Okay, really does. I'm smelling my hand from where I put the essence on and smelling the mask and they smell almost the same. Right, I will see you in 15 minutes. Okay, time to take off my mask. There we go, it feels very moisturising and very cooling and soothing, especially when I've had interrupted sleep. I really like that. It's not too, it's not, doesn't feel oily though. It's like a hyaluronic type gel consistency. So as I've been saying to a few of you this morning, it's not going to leave you with milia. Look at that lovely glow. Okay. So next on in, um, I'm going to put on some serum and I'll be right back to put on the face cream in a minute. Okay, I've just put on my antioxidant serum. Um, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't, this is by Paula's choice. But if I don't, my skin, I just can't do without it because it just really helps retain the moisture in my skin. Um, so you can see my face is even more glowy now. But anyway, I've just opened this. And look, doesn't it look lovely as well? Lovely presented. And you can see, let me, I'm just going to show you another comparison shot from the real thing. Um, so if you see some of this packaging, there, there's, that's the real thing. That's uh, La Prairie. And let me get you the day cream out of here. But no, the night cream, look. So you can see, it's definitely that's what they're duping. <laughs> All right, so let's use the day cream and I want to use the eye, the eye gel. Now I haven't opened this because I was using some of my Paula's Choice, but I just fancy trying it today to show you guys and I can't wait to try this because, you know, I really struggle with under eye sort of fine lines and dryness. Um, and I, I'm going to be really disappointed if I try this and like it because you can't get this anywhere else. But you can't, you could only get this in the kit at Christmas. Um, but I did get one for my sister and if she's not using it, I might beg her for her eye gel. <laughs> Oh, that does feel nice. It feels very plumping. Can you see that?
But I, I did think about getting a second one just for the eye gel. And I thought, that's silly, because then you're going to be stuck with so much moisturiser and night cream. But that feels really, it's got such a lovely, it's a gel texture, but it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, some gel textures feel like they don't really moisturise. They feel cooling, but they don't really moisturise. This this feels really moisturising. And actually, I've been trying out the one by Vichy, the, the eye one, the eye serum. And I would say that this feels more moisturising than that. The Vichy one probably sinks in quicker, but it doesn't feel as moisturising. So, I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to be using that. I'm going to use that all week and I'm going to have a look at my eyes next week for comparison. I'll lay off some of my Paula's Choice eye cream and then we're going to use the day cream. Now, I think when you buy the day cream, I'm not sure that it comes in a silver pot like that. It has done in here. But I'm not sure, I can't remember when you buy it individually, whether it comes in a silver pot. I thought it came in the blue pot, like the night cream. But let's show you this. It's got a foil lid to keep it nice and fresh, just like the samples I've got of the real deal. And here it's a formula. It's lovely and creamy. Now, the only disadvantage is it's an SPF of 15. My skin is quite dry today, so I'm going to use a generous amount. Probably you don't need to use as much, but I'm going to let it sink in because when you've had disturbed sleep, you feel it in your skin. And I'm going to just let it sink in for about 10, 15 minutes before I put on my La Prairie Caviar Foundation and take a final photo. You can see it's already brightening. Can you see how my skin is pinker than my forehead? It does feel, it feels, this feels like a little bit like as well, Magic Cream by Charlotte Tilbury. It doesn't smell like it. It smells like the sample I got of the uh, La Prairie, but it it just feels as plumping as the night as the Charlotte's Magic Cream, and it's definitely got the same smell. I hadn't realised how similar the smell was to the um, La Prairie products until I put that essence on and then used this straight away, but it's got the same smell. Definitely. Putting some down my neck because I overused my AHAs or retinol down here and I my skin flared up last week. So it's it's sort of recovering now. Oh that feels lovely. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera around so that you can see me under the light. And I think you'll see that that is a wonderful, wonderful face cream by Aldi for six ninety nine. The night cream is very similar for formula, but just thicker. Um, and I can do a separate video on that. Um, or yeah, I might I might do another video tonight and show you me putting on the night cream because I want to put this video out. So let me just turn around and show you. Very glowy. So I'm going to let that sink in and I'm going to put on my La Prairie Caviar Foundation and I'll be right back in a minute. All right, see you in a second. Okay, so that is my look and I've got my caviar foundation on. I did find it was pilling a bit. But you know what I reckon that was? I don't think that's the moisturiser. I think that may have been the essence because it was quite old and felt quite sticky on the face. So I will make sure I double try that 
tomorrow I'm going to try the face cream on its own without putting that essence underneath and then put my foundation over the top and just double check that for you guys but I think you can see that my skin is ultra glowy now and I've put this lipstick on today because um, I, I was looking at my comments this morning and I loved one of the comments excuse me for forgetting the name of the person that said it but um, one of you wrote that you really wish that Charlotte would bring out cool pinks and not just um, 50 shades of elastoplast. And it just made me laugh out loud, that comment, 50 shades of elastoplast. I'm going to put the name of the person down here um, to give you credit for that because it just really made me giggle. Anyway, this lipstick is by Charlotte Tilbury and it is called Live It Up. It's one of her original hot lips. It's really creamy. I'm not sure if she actually called this a kissing formula, but it feels like a kissing formula. It's very, very creamy. And it's one of the coolest pinks that she does. So if you're after a really cool pink from Charlotte Tilbury, have a look at Live It Up. There's another one that's on the cool side, but it's still not really cool um which is bosworth's beauty um but it's a little bit further in towards warm but this one is a very cool toned pink for those of you that really want charlotte to bring out more cool toned pink lipsticks so that's why it's my lip of the day anyway i'm off now i've ordered some takeaway for us all um because I've had a bit of a restless night and I've taken my pain meds because I'm not going to be brave today and I'm going to just lie down now and watch myself a film or a nice comfort series of The Crown or something that I've watched a million times before but love and just relax for the rest of the day and I hope you're all enjoying your Saturday too and I'm going to straighten out my hairband as well and oh, it says that my order is on the move. So our takeaway is coming soon. Love you all. Have a lovely Saturday and I'll see you all very soon. Bye bye. Mwah.